NLP techniques for a fear of failure. I'm going to do three NLP techniques over the course of three weeks. I'm in the training venue on Bali. Just finished the training and it's dead quiet here. And as soon as I want to make videos, there's hammering and there's construction going on. But that's okay because I'm not afraid of a fear of failure. There are, in essence, not really literal techniques taught in NLP for a fear of failure. So I'm actually going to do a few mini designs on the spot to help you out here. So the first technique that I'm going to cover this week is a um, very simple NLP technique. So, so what do we do when we experience a fear of failure? Well, think about it logically. We, in essence, place our minds in the future. And we imagine what we will see, hear, feel, smell, taste um, in the moment that we fail. So we actually are projecting ourselves into the future, and the future is doom. That's actually the opposite of what very successful people do. Top athletes that are performing in the Olympics, let's say, successful business people, top speakers, they actually do the polar opposite. They place themselves into a different future where they will actually succeed and they imagine what they will see, hear, and feel in that place. So that's one thing that you can already do. But the, the technique that I wanted to cover with you today is when you experience the emotions and the thoughts that come with a fear of failure, it is important to float your awareness out of your body out of the emotion so that you can see yourself on a movie screen, like a neutral observer. That's called dissociation. We're experiencing something through, through your own eyes is association. So you need to dissociate first. And rather having the movie end in doom and gloom is that you actually can play a movie where the movie actually ends into a good outcome instead. And then when you have watched the movie of you starting to go from this moment towards the future from a dissociated point of view, then when you're at the positive, more realistic end, is that you flow your awareness back into your body in that future instead and see what you would see, hear what you would hear, feel what you would feel and smell and taste what you would smell and taste. That's a very simple little NLP technique that you could use. If you're interested in more free resources, I have about 1,500 of them. Visit globalnlptraining.com backslash simply. And you especially want to look for the free product, free audio visualization product for setting goals. Because goals is an excellent way to actually overcome a feel of fear of failure and working on the other goals instead. Hi from Bali, and uh, see you around, and come and join us in Bali, Portugal, Mexico, Amsterdam, or Los Angeles soon. Bye.